the volume of water in a tank decides the uh, size of the fish. So in the sea, there are giant fishes swirling joyfully into the sea without any inhibitions, without any boundary. Unbridled, but unfortunately in a tank, it is just supposed to be within the confinement of a tank with four erect walls around the fish. Our lives are also governed by the same theory. We we'll limit ourselves with the environment, but unfortunately we can overcome the environment, but we never realize it. So is it to say that our environment shapes us or we are the ones who are at the helm of the environment that we create around us? Which one is the truth? The truth is we are the maker of our environment. So to say, I have complained with this person, I have complained with the set of people I'm working with, I have complained with the situation around me. First, we need to look into ourselves first, how we are functioning. At what frequency are we operating? We attract not what we want. We never attract what we want in our lives. Never, never. We attract who we are. That is such a fact that can never be denied. That can never be denied, my dear friends. You never attract what you want in your life. You attract who you are. And who you are, if you get something that you think you have not deserved enough to get that thing, then something is there to cleanse you off. Yes, of course. Or help you evolve. There are two reasons. There is no third reason. And if we could accept in absolute acknowledgement of your own self, there will be a path forward. So all that whom you complain about and what you complain about, the first thing is to notice, to know who you are and how you are operating, at what frequency you are operating. And the kind of people and circumstances that you have attracted, if you don't feel happy about having them, then think twice. 